Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Atlas. Made it back over here to our main base. At the end of the last video, we kind of had a run-in with some pirates over on the big island. So all that I did was gathered a bunch of resources, filled the boat up, which apparently there is a weight limit. I mean, I know there was a weight limit, but if you're over that weight limit or near it, <laughs> you cannot move. It was a very slow sail back. Got a bunch of wood, got some resin, which I want to take a look at today. We might be able to make our refrigerator. And then what I plan on doing, seeing how we don't have any good armor, I want to try to unlock some of that today. I mean, all we're wearing is our normal cloth, which has like zero protection. I also want to do some work on the boat. So there's a medium sail that we can build that'll go in the middle there. And two reasons I want to do it. One, there is a medium weight sail. And seeing how the weight capacity on our boat is so slim, I would like to see how much that's going to raise it. And then the second reason is we only have one crew member. I'd like to keep it at one for right now, just until we find a good way to make gold. And that way he can man the sail. It'll be easier for us to control. And I just think it'll be better, man, having one medium instead of two small ones. There's also a resource container we need to build to put on the boat here. And that'll allow us to put gold in it to pay him. I mean, the dude is not cheap. And should be able to put some of our regular resources in for storage instead of having this one. So we'll take a look at that. And then the last thing is a grapple. Everybody's telling me instead of jumping in the water to grab those crates, I can use a grapple and pull it in that way. So I definitely want to look at that. So first things first, see where we're at in life. All right, so we got some skills. And I think what we need to do is the shipwright. Because there's the medium sails right there. Let's see what we need to unlock for this. We need to go... So we got sailing. So there it is right there, the medium weight sail. There's also a medium handling sail and a medium speed sail. We're going for the weight one. That's kind of the main thing I'm looking at. So let's go ahead and do navigator tools. What is this one? That's finding stars and stuff. Not worried about that right now. Merchant ships. That's kind of one I'm interested in too because they're supposed to have higher weight, I think, on those. They unlock some some different boats too. A uh, schooner and then the brig. That's something we'll do later though. Let's get our sail sorted out and kind of go from there. And then there's some other stuff here too. Yeah, see there's the dinghy and everything else for building different stuff. So what I'm thinking is if I don't have enough stuff to points to unlock everything in all of these, that's kind of the way it is with Ark sometimes. What I might end up doing is doing a... Doing one of the console commands to unlock all the Ingrams, because I definitely want to be able to have access to everything while we're we're doing this. And then the last thing I wanted was some armor. I think there was some leather armor. Hide armor? I think, well, let's just do it like this. I don't I don't want to search, man. So I think one of the things we skipped was armor. Where is that even at? Oh, I've got it unlocked already. So right there. Okay, so that's the basics of armor. So that's tempered armor, okay. Reduces the penalties for wearing armor, okay. Is this unlocked the normal? Oh, it does. Okay, so there's all the hide stuff there. I think the other stuff is down here. Like the plate and then cursed armor. It's kind of neat. Not sure what that is, but that is a very far away. So let's start off with just some regular hide armor. And I'm guessing we'll make that here. Oh, we got fur too. We haven't been around any cold areas. There's supposed to be some cold area as we get, I think, further... It's either north or south. But we're looking for this. So we're going to need some fiber and hide. Okay, okay. Let's grab a bunch of that out of here. Oh, I don't have that much fiber. Oh, I had to trash a lot of it. So here's the thing that sucks, man. Is I had a ton of resources from over there. I had to get rid of all my wood. I had to get rid of all of my fiber and my thatch. I had a ton of it because... I wanted to save the metal. <laughs> that was one of the main things I got, as well as a ton of keratin while we were over there from the boars. So it works out. It wasn't too bad. All right, let's drop all you off. Let's do one of each of these. Oh, dude, it's going to be nice having some new armor. So what's the armor rating on this? So that's going to be, okay, 20. And then what we're wearing now, I think, is only five for each one? It is. It's only five. We'll have to see how that does in the heat as well, right? Because of it being leather. This is the last piece, and we'll try it on, see how we look. All 
Oh, there we go. Oh, dude, we are a proper pirate now. We even got the hat, man. See, it says it on the hat, man. We are definitely a legit pirate now. <laughs> oh, man, that looks fantastic, dude. We'll have to see how it goes with the heat. Oh, we're already... We're already hot down there. Does it change if we put this on? Wait, there we go. It does. Oh, dude, we'll have to save that for whenever we... We go to do uh, another raid on the pirate base over there. So we'll take well, let's put that in our storage for the moment. We'll hold on to it. I like it though. I like it, man. Oh, dude, it looks it looks awesome, man. Oh yeah, I put a fire on the boat. <laughs> it looks terrible at night, but it keeps you warm. It looks like the whole boat's on fire. It's kind of weird, and this does work. I did some testing, not on purpose, but I did some testing regardless, and it does show up now. So I think what it was the first time, we just had a place to where. Maybe it was clipping into, into the boat, and we just couldn't do it. So what do we need for the sail? You know what? It's probably not made here. It's going to be out here on the loom, isn't it? It is. All right, so we're looking for... It's a small speed. Small. There's a medium speed. Medium weight sail. Okay, so we need fibers, hide, metal, and wood. I think we're going to need to get some more wood and fiber. Not a problem. Let's grab a little bit of metal. We'll just grab all this. We'll just take it all with us. I don't know. We might have enough. We'll have to grab some wood for sure. So a little bit more on fibers. 130, we'll say 150 fiber, and then 200 on the wood. Oh, yeah. I need to I need to repair my stuff. One reason why I came back, and I guess it's a good thing, seeing as how I got overweight, was my my tools broke so you can only repair it at a smithy so that kind of sucks but that kind of limited me on how much i was gathering i totally wasn't watching i almost sunk the boat i don't know if being overweight will cause it to sink it was making some bad noises and i was at i think 2000 of 1200 so it was <laughs> it's a little bit heavy oh man i didn't want to tear up all these trees over here so we need 200 let's go ahead and just take a little bit from you a little bit from you. There we go. That way they all still stay here. And I'll have to remember not to do this again or else we'll end up <laughs> chopping all the trees down. Again, I had a ton of wood from that island over there. Oh, outside. That's right. The loom. We'll just throw everything in there. Alright, so one of you... We'll grab that, let's grab all of our stuff again. I really miss the pool feature from Ark with the S+. Plus. Oh man, I really miss that a lot. And we need to make that last thing, which is... I don't know what it's called. This. Oh, we need some thatch. Do we have any? Are we out of thatch? We are, that's right, I trashed it all. Man, I tell you what, alright, we're gonna have to repair this. We do it in here? I haven't had to repair anything yet. So there we go. We got everything on there. Tell you what, let's go ahead and repair this. And this as well. Alright, so there's that. Can we repair both at once? We can't. It just puts you down there into the, the line to get done. So the trees over there were kind of cool. That's where I ended up getting the resin. And I'm hoping with the resin, we can use that for making our fridge. So it's not normal resin, it's called... It can be also used as sugar. Let me take a look real quick while we're right here. Right here. So it's a resin resource sugar. I'm hoping... Let's just look. I know i got like a ton of things I want to do today. Kind of excited about all of it. You know, it's all new stuff. So we need the organic... Polymer. Or paste. Oh, it does work! So all we need is fibers. And the sap. I wasn't sure if that was going to work as normal sap. And then we can go ahead and make the refrigerator, right? Icebox. Oh, dude! We're going to have some more to put our food for, for a change. So I'm not sure if that's going to require any fuel to run it. We'll have to see. Alright, first things first. What were we doing? We needed this for... That. All right, so one resource chest. So we put this on a boat. It stores resources and any gold that's found. And then he can, the crew member can pull out of that directly to pay himself and to repair the boat when we're at dock. So it's kind of nice. 
It's not too bad. I've got so much junk in here. I need to make a place for all my blueprints and stuff. Buddy, I got some upgrades for us. So let's take a look. We should be able to demolish. We can. And then if you didn't know, so when you're on this, as you can see at the bottom down there, the wind's going the wrong direction, right? So our fail, our sails are facing that way. You can go ahead and do it by hand with changing the sails and adjust them to kind of catch the wind. It helps out a lot. And then you can also do it from here by holding down shift and using your your steering keys. It'll move your sail. So it's kind of nice, man. It's kind of nice. That is as long as he's on there. If he's not attached to it, then I have to get off and do it by hand. That's kind of why I'm wanting the one medium one. And let's go ahead and demolish this. I'm guessing we're going to need to replace it. So, our first upgrade. Real upgrade. Okay. Oh, there's different places you can put it. Does it matter? That thing is massive. Holy crap, that thing is massive. That looks almost too big for this boat. So, normally the steering is at the back of a boat. And the sail... Oh, wait, so required sail units, 1.7. Current ship can have 2.0, so we cannot have two of these. We can only have one. Okay, good to know. That kind of dictates how many sails you can have, I guess. So we want this at the front? It's going to be kind of off, man. You usually don't have a sail. You should put it in the middle, but the steering wheel's there. We'll leave the steering wheel. We'll put it, put it right there. Oh, and his thing. So it's one gold coin every 23.4 hours. When you're sailing, it's like one gold every two hours. You get greedy, don't you? Boy, I tell you what. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's kind of neat how it goes up as you're doing stuff. So, I want you. So there we go. Where'd you go to? You're back here. You're sitting in the fire. That is not going to be good at nighttime. I tell you what, let's go ahead and let's move this. All right, so we need to make a bed and a campfire. The bed, I guess, I think we'll just put like right there. And then the campfire, I kind of want to keep that back here with me. Well, let's grab this stuff for the moment. I want to get rid of this. And let's place this. Oh, that's tiny. That is awesome. Okay, so if we put you right here. And we put everything in you. Okay, we can't put armor. We can't put resources. I mean, I know it's called a resource box, but you got to do some testing. So we can have all that in there. Okay, fantastic. So what we're going to end up doing is making one more small storage box, just so it doesn't look too weird. And we'll put it right there. And that'll be for everything that is non-resource-like. And then we'll put the bed right back up here. So we need a bed, a campfire, and a small storage box. And then we'll do a quick test run on that. We'll also make a grapple, just in case we find any of the stuff out there. All right, so we're going to need some flints. What else do we need for campfire? We need some stone. We got plenty of that, too. All right, so one of those. One small storage, because that holds 40, right? I think. That should be fine. It should be plenty. And then... Let's leave a lot of this stuff for the moment. I don't want to be overweight. All right, we got a campfire. Don't need that. Okay. That looks really weird. I'm just saying, the boat looks very small for as big as that thing is. Oh, we forgot the bed. That's what it was. I knew there was something else to build. So let's see. While we have a second to be able to pick that up, can we get in the boat without a problem? We can. Oh, fantastic. It's like a step, man. All right, so throw you in there. Campfire will go... We can just put it on this side here. It is super bright, dude. I'm telling you, it is very, very bright at nighttime. All right, so let's grab our bed. Okay, a little bit of a bath for today. <laughs> it is just deep enough right here for that boat, too. It's kind of nice. All right, so one bed. Hopefully, we have enough stuff. Fiber hide, thatch, and wood. Okay. We're not going to have enough wood. That's fine. What are we missing? Everything. <laughs> Literally everything. So there's some thatch. What are we missing now? A little bit of fibers, a little bit of wood. We've got four of the fibers. That's fine. We'll take those. Fiber. 
Okay, a little bit of wood. Let's go smack one of these trees out here. Oh, dude, I'm gonna do some resource runs. Oh, yeah, we need to check to see if the... If the weight went up, like a bunch. Oh, there's some resin. Yeah, so it's, some trees like this give you resin. Thought I was falling over. All right, that should be enough. Thought I heard something. One of you, please? And we will throw all of this back in here for right now. So we were at 1,200 on our weight capacity. We are now... Holy crap, dude! That went up to 3,700! I like it! And then this goes up 100 for each one. I'm trying to, at the moment, raise this up. That's going to help with our sturdiness. And then, so that reduces the rate of offshore items spoiling. And that's for our vital depletion as well. And sinking rate. And then the resistance helps out with if we get hit by stuff. So I'm kind of doing these for the moment. Let's do one more into each of those. I want to do some more weight, but I mean, 3,700, that is not bad, dude. I want to put you right in the middle. There we go. Nice respawn point. All right, let's grab a grapple. And we'll go for a quick test spin. Come back and make us a ice box. It's not there. We have to unlock it. Grappling hook. Okay. Is it under piracy? I thought there was another place I saw it. It's not. Let's go ahead and go there. Oh, we gotta unlock it here first. That's right. Combat. There's piracy. Let's get us a grapple. We'll look at the rest of that later. Yeah, there we go. We have everything in here, too, so that's kind of nice. Dude, this thing is such a mess, man. Where is... There we go. So is it... Is it one use? A hook that can be used to hoist yourself up to hard-to-reach places can also be used to grapple onto another ship or pull in... Float Sam? Flotsam? Flotsam? I don't know what that word is. It's weird while sailing. I know that's the boxes. It's just a really awkward word. <laughs> it's one of those ones I will avoid trying to say if I can help it. Oh, let's see how it works. Okay. Okay, we can pick how far we want to throw it. It puts us into third person. Can I pull it in? Are we stuck? Did I... Hook the ground? Cannot go into first person like that. Oh, that is weird. It is. It's stuck on the ground. Okay. Oh, it is not one use. Okay, it's got a durability on it. So it says you can hook onto the boats, too. Can I climb the boat that way? That would be awesome if I could. Oh, you can't. Or maybe I'm not doing it right. Kind of neat, man. I really wish I could go first person with it. Oh, you can! Oh, dude, that is awesome! And then you can unhook it. <laughs> oh, man. I like it. Dude, we're gonna have fun with this thing. I don't know about you, but I will. So, let's set sail. Do a very short voyage. We're gonna go out here, turn around, and come back. I want to see how this new sail does. Oh, wind's going our direction, too. That's fantastic. So... Full sail ahead. Let's go ahead and rotate it a little bit. Catch some wind. It looks very awkward. It's kind of weird. Oh, there's another one. So there's two sets. That is so nice just having the one here, though, to be able to change everything, right? The direction and everything else. Are we near? Yeah, so I noticed if you get near shallows, it automatically slows your boat down, regardless of the wind. I kind of like it, but kind of hate it. It kind of makes you aware that you're in shallows, so I like that part, but again, if I'm deep enough, let, <laughs> let me just sail, man. Oh, that is awesome. It's not super fast, but I'm not too worried about speed right now. The main thing I want is something for resource harvesting, and I think if I carry another one, it's kind of expensive to do, but if I carry multiples, I can always change the sails out whenever I want, right? Now that we're spinning around, let's go ahead and rotate our sail as well. Catch the wind from the other side. And there we go. Oh, dude, it's just like real sailing. Uh, a lot more simple, but kind of the same concept, you know? 
And that'll help out. Unless you are in a very bad spot, you should be able to catch wind from almost any direction. So it's kind of nice. And dude, I tell you what, coming back, I got caught in a storm. And it was like something pop popped up on the screen that said, watch out for typhoons or something like that. It's like, dude, I was overweight, going slow, huge seas. And <laughs> last thing I want to worry about is tornadoes in the water. We good? We are very, very shallow. I do like how you can see whenever you're on the boat. I mean, can't, well, <laughs> can't see now. All right, slow it down, man. Slow it down, two leg. Try to get up close. Make it to where we can jump on and off like we were a minute ago. Easy. Don't hit the dock, please. It's expensive for repairs. Okay, that should be good there. Nice, man. Nice. Let's turn it just a little bit. Oh, up, up, up. forwards. Don't go back. I think I bumped off of it. That's fine. That's fine. Just leave it there. We leave it there. Anchor it. Anchor it. There we go. Now we don't spin around. So I need to put a little bit of gold in there. He hasn't been paid. It has been almost one in-game day. So I don't know if it's 24 real hours or 24 in-game hours. We got 21 on the gold. And let's throw him a little bit of food in there as well. I think he will eat out of that. I don't know for sure, but I think he will. Buddy, got some money for you. Just take it when you want it. A little, little bit of food. You cannot put food in there. How is your food? Are you hungry? You're not, but I'll give you a piece. That did not give him much at all. Dude, you are going to be hungry. Hopefully I don't have to worry about his vital signs and stuff. And I can change out his gear, too. We'll probably really end up doing that. Let's put a little bit into... Health. And damage. I'm not sure what we'll use that for. Because I'm going to leave him on the boat. I don't want to have him follow me around everywhere. Cool. So the last thing for today. That I have planned. Seeing if we can get this ice box set up. Because dude, I have so much food. I don't want it to spoil. Alright, so we're going to need... This. And how many how many do we need? Let's see how many we need for the ice box. So we need 12 of the paste. Wait, what are we missing? Oh, fiber. Tell you what, man. Going through fiber like crazy. Alright, let's do just what we need for the moment. I don't want to have too many extra resources. And I'm really hoping, really, really hoping there's not going to be a fuel requirement. I mean, it should be, technically. But at the same time, hope it's, <laughs> I hope it's not. What are we missing? Keratin? Okay. Wood and fiber. I got the fiber here. Let's take that back, too. And then we need some keratin and a little bit more wood. I'm going to have to go out and smack a tree, I think. Plenty of keratin. That is not an issue. Neither is wood. I need to put that back on the boat in the fireplace. One ice box. And give me that wood back. Let's go put that. Is that already made? Holy crap, that made it fast. Let's put this back in the the campfire over here. Just so that we have it. I don't want to get out there and start freezing and totally forget. Oh yeah, let me show you, man. <laughs> it, uh, it does not look right on a boat. I'm just saying. Fire on a boat is never a good thing. I mean, unless you're playing Atlas, then it is. Alright, let's figure out where we want to put this at. Probably right here. We'll be fine. Massive, of course, like everything else. I don't like that. That's one thing I don't like about Atlas is everything is so large, man. I don't want to put it there and crowd up to where I can't... Oh, dude, let's put it out here. I don't want to have it block my spawn point, you know? Out here in the sun is a perfect place for it, right? Alright, so, area is too hot to produce ice. It's not going out front. Just saying! Ah, I don't want to put it in here. Area is too hot to produce ice. So, so 
Storage container, produce ice. Oh, so that produces ice and keeps it frozen. How do I cool down the area? Let's pick it up for the moment. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. I don't know how to cool down the area. I mean, we're we're covered, right? So that should be fine there. I wonder if it'll produce at nighttime. And then, what time is it? We'll have to wait and see. It's almost night. So I wonder if at nighttime, when it cools down, it'll be cool enough to produce ice. And if it'll store enough for during the day. You know what I mean? Produce at night, store during the day. We'll have to see. We'll, uh, we'll wait for a few minutes before we go and see if that's going to work. If not, that's fine. If it does, fantastic. All right, so it is 1 a.m. Let's see what it says now. Area is too hot to produce ice. Ah, oh, man, so it's not going to work at all. I don't know what to do about that. Is there anything else, like a preserving bin? There is this. That's preservatives. That's preserving salt in a preserving bag. That is a little ways down, but we should be able to do it. So let's do... I want to unlock the farming anyways. So I'll open this stuff up. And that is that. What is this? Large crop plot, okay. Not made there. Maybe over here? Not made there. Where is a preserving bag made? Here we go. Sap thatch fibers. Okay, we should be able to get all that stuff and then... It requires preserving salt for fuel. That's not a problem. So with the preserving salt, that's going to be made in the mortar and pestle, I'm guessing. I did find a little bit of salt. So salt and flint. So I got three. So where I got this from was over on that big island that was over there. Off on the beach. I was kind of digging right at the the water border and I got all kinds of stuff from wood and some sandstone and then I got some of that as well three pieces of salt we'll put that in there and put that in there and let's make the preserving bin first just in case there's a timer spoil timer on the other stuff I don't remember what else we needed So sap and thatch. We should have all that over here. Where's the sap? Here we go. And then we don't have any thatch, do we? We do. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Here we go. Fantastic. And how big are you? Very small. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, we could probably put one of these on the boat as well. We'll test it out and see. Alright, so there's that. 24 slots. Let's make our salt. Let's make all three. Okay, there isn't a spoil timer. So that is awesome. I was worried about that. So that makes six. You get two for each one. So our spoil timer on this right now is seven minutes, roughly. Oh, that's four hours, a little over. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and grab some of our good stuff. I'm not too worried about some of the things in here. Because we got so much, like, all these greens. But our meats, I definitely want to save those. Let's get a stack of coconuts. Our fish. I mean, I don't really like the coffee, but we'll leave that there for now. I don't care about the spoiled meats. Some of the stuff that we don't have much of is a main thing. Because I don't know what we're going to need for cooking, right? What is that? Berry tea, okay. Aloe, we'll hold on to that. Alright, let's see how many slots we got left. We could probably grab all of it. Oh wait, we should have some meat out here too. This is turned off, so what do we got? Let's go ahead and light that. Let that finish cooking. That is super bright, dude. Oh, that makes me feel a lot better, man. Stuff is gonna last a lot longer. Oh my gosh, the spoil time is forever on those. I mean, they're potatoes. 
these two. Okay, it's definitely worth it to keep the vegetables and stuff in here. And the fish, that's still not bad at all, man. Let's grab the rest of it real quick. The berries are the thing I'm having the hardest to find right now, it seems. I think that's it. It kind of freezes up some space. I've been dropping these. I don't care about the songs right now. I might need them later, but as for right now, it's not really worth it for me to hold on to them. Just because we're really limited on space. We've got two more slots here. One more slot. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day, man. We got our boat kind of set up a lot better. I like it. I'm going to head over there after this video and do a lot more resource harvesting. Try to get us some more wood, thatch, and fiber instead of resource harvesting all right here. That way we still have some here. I don't know how fast everything respawns. So I don't want to wipe us out and then we always have to go out whenever we're building stuff. We got our preserving stuff set up, kind of. I need to see about the ice box, where we need to put it to produce ice and find a better way to get salt. Because like I said, out of all the digging I did, I only got three pieces and I don't think it's going to last too long. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.